Hey guys, let's say bringing you another video. Now this is a completely different video to normal and we're at a completely different camera angle at the moment because I'm actually holding the camera. Um, but this video is a room slash setup tour as a lot of people have been asking what's my setup, how do I record videos, all that type of thing. Uh, so I thought I'd throw this together and I'm going to just quickly say it's not going to be the most professional thing you've ever watched. The camera is, I'm using a webcam, the microphone is basically stationary, stationary so if I'm moving around a bit it might drop in audio level. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be good enough and it will give a good idea of what I actually do to record, what do I use. And everything that I kind of say in this and use in this video, I'm going to be giving a mini review on to say, do I recommend you getting it and all that stuff. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it and we'll start actually just with a quick pan of the whole room in general. So I thought I'd start the room pan just with my personal view of what I have every day. This is just actually the desk. I will be going over this in more detail after we do the room pan, but I just thought I'd quickly show you. So nothing on the walls above. That is one thing to say is I recently did a very big clean in this room and there's not much on the walls. I am looking to put stuff back on the walls, which should help with the echo. Um, but yeah, at the moment there isn't. So there's the monitors, microphone with the Timo hat, painting of HMS Victory that my actual granddad painted. A uh, big cupboard over there, there's my Astro bag with a night thingy, there's a bed. Uh, there's all shoes down there, that's not all my shoes but some of them. And then there's a thingy there that actually is just a home for my PS4, it's not plugged in, I don't even play it. And then behind me is just a blind that has a poster on it so the sun doesn't get through in a certain place. That's pretty much it for the room. So it's just a basic bedroom, nothing crazy or special. Um, and um, yeah, that's basically where I record videos. Again, a lot of people have been saying about the echo in the room at the moment, and that is because I don't actually have anything up on the walls. If you are unfamiliar, that's how you get rid of echo, is you put stuff on the walls so the sound will bounce back into the room instead of bouncing off the wall. Um, but anyway, the desk. So again, this video is going to be basically giving a mini review of everything that I use. We'll also be going below the bed. There is two drawers down there. I'll also be going into them drawers and pulling out some things that I used to use and also giving a mini review of them. But anyway, left monitor. You can see this is the monitor that I actually use to do the recording and stuff. We've got recordception at the moment. Like, look, you can see my finger a million times. Uh, so that is a 24 inch LG monitor. This is the monitor that I use for Twitch chat. Twitter, comment section of videos. This is kind of like my web browsing monitor, I guess, or watching streams, that's that monitor. This monitor is a 21 and a half inch Asus. This is the monitor I actually use to play games. You'll notice there is a slightly different coloration to it from the brightness level. I have dimmed the brightness a little bit. Um, and then also it's a bit smaller. The reason it's smaller is on purpose because human's peripheral vision is actually 21 and a half inches, give or take. That means I can look at the center of the monitor and look at every single corner of the screen without having to move my eyes, thus having better, quicker reaction times than if I use that monitor there. Pretty simple. Um, so there are the monitors. I will quickly say if the green screen is up, then the camera goes on this monitor. If the green screen is not up, then it usually goes on that monitor as it just gives a better, uh, clearer view of the blue wall behind me. Moving on to more of the desk. So let's move on to the keyboard. Hopefully the camera will adjust. So this keyboard is a Logitech G910 Orion Spark, I believe. A fairly expensive keyboard, but as a quickie mini review, is it's pretty damn good. It's fairly quiet for a mechanical keyboard. A keyboard. Nothing's really gone wrong with it. I've had it for a good few months now, and you know, you can make these lights any color you want from what I know. There's different profiles that I don't even use. Uh, there's volume controls, all that stuff over there. It's just a pretty all round good keyboard. Is it worth, I think it's 160. Maybe. It, it depends your value of money. I'd probably put it above my old Razer Black Widow. I prefer this to that. Um, and yeah, it, it is the best keyboard I've owned, definitely. Uh, the next mouse is a Logitech. Again, you'll notice a, a trend here. Uh, G502. This is probably the best mouse I've ever owned. I will say I've owned a lot of keyboards. I've not owned a crazy amount of mice. Saying that, I probably still had about six or eight of them. But still, I've had, you know, the the, the Cyborg mice, I've had razors, I've had everything. This is probably the best that I've had. Um, it's very responsive. There's different profiles. It's got all the buttons where you need it, especially for League of Legends. You don't need millions of buttons. 
Um, and it's, the scroll wheel is actually quite nice as well, that you can unlock the scroll wheel and then make it go crazy quick. It's quite nice for certain games and also web browsing. Um, so that's the mouse. Again, I would recommend that. It's a quite nice mouse. And I actually got that on sale. This is supposed to be, I think, a 50 or 60 pound mouse. I actually got this for 35. That was actually a main reason I bought it. Moving on to more stuff. Nintendo DS, it is the new one that has like a little random button. I play Pokemon on it. It's the only game I own. Um, yeah, it's a DS. What else do you want to know? That's, I guess it's part of my setup. Uh, Pokemon cards, I will say, if you're interested in Pokemon cards, these are the ones that I open on the IRL channel uh, in my weight loss series. If I do well in the week, then I open a pack. I have opened more than the three weeks worth, but still. Uh, deodorants, these little pin thingies here, they are the actual things that hold up my green screen whenever I want the green screen up. Uh, moving on, my wallet, uh, not showing you anything in there. Uh, my two figurines of Riot League of Legends, we got Earth and Darius. I am looking to collect more of these, especially when I get my own place in a year or two. I'm going to like maybe get all of them and then put them in a shelf, I'm not really sure. Uh, moving more onward is all the Pokemon cards I still have left to open. A random drink, that's normally where I keep my drinks. Glasses cases, obviously I wear glasses all the time, my eyes are terrible. Um, so there is the normal police glass case and there is the gunner glass case and then finally my phone. So there you go, there is the desk. Um, so yeah, and then also uh, as a little thing that's pointed at me I guess, headset that I'm using is again a Logitech, I can't remember which one this is, it will be linked in the description. Quickie review on this. For the price, I think it's 50 odd pound. It's okay, it's a 50 pound headset. You can't expect much from it. You know, I've had 200 pound headsets and they're still not very good. So I'd say this is okay. I am probably gonna look to get a better headset than this soon. I just thought I'd get it to try out having all Logitech stuff. Um, one thing as a complaint of it is uh, the wire tangling. As you can see, there is actually terrible wire tangling going on and I tend to look after my equipment. So that is also a bit of a downer. Uh, unfortunately. So let's move position and I'll show you some other things. Right, we are now kind of to the left of the desk. So said chair, this is a DX racer chair. If you are very serious about gaming, I would definitely look into getting yourself a good, decent chair. As if you're sitting in it for hours, it helps your back out and everything like that. I would probably say I would have a worse back if I had a worse chair. It's very good. You can literally lie straight back on this thing and it will not tip over. Uh, it's a DX Racer U series, It's I'd recommend it. And then the microphone, again, it's uh, mounted, everything like that. It's also, if I move the Timo hat, it's also got, and this is one thing to note, a shock absorber in it. It's a bit dusty, I actually haven't noticed that. But basically, what does this mean? A lot of people who start YouTube basically have terrible mic setups. Also, a person to worth note, and it's a good example to use, is Scara. Many of you know who Scara is. Whenever he hits his desk or something, because his microphone is on his desk, it makes a really loud bang. If you have a shock absorber on a mount, it means if I bang my desk or if the shelf gets banged or something, because of the shock, shock absorber, it won't make the microphone go bang because it just gets completely absorbed with all the elastic. Uh, pop filter, the reason for a pop filter is the P's. If I say P, P, P with a pop filter, it won't make a really big P noise. It might do it right now because I'm not really facing the pop filter, um, but it's it's quite good. It basically just helps with audio quality. All that, a blue icicle above it. Don't really need it. I just do it to help myself with volume control if I want to up or down it. Uh, and that's pretty much it with the microphone. We'll quickly note this thing over here is actually my press pass for MCM London uh, Comic Con. Uh, first press pass I ever got for an event. You're supposed to give them back, but shh, don't tell anybody. I kept it as a souvenir. Uh, and then moving down towards the actual beast. Now, a lot of people name their computers, and I'm no different. This is R2-D2. You can probably see why. I got R2-D2 uh, last January. I think January of 2014 is when I got him. And he's good, you know, he's good enough. Will I want to upgrade him? Yes, I do eventually. There's a couple things in here that I do want to improve. But as right now, I still play any new video game on the, the best settings. And until that changes, I don't need to upgrade him. Now, you'll ask what are the first things I'm going to upgrade. First thing, I'm actually going to put an SSD in there. There isn't one in there, which I'm ashamed of. Um, I'm also going to increase how much storage with an SSD, I guess. Uh, gonna put a dual graphics card setup in here. So I don't I've got it's, it's a GTX 780 in there at the moment Whether I just put another one of them in or upgrade to something completely different 980s or something But I'm gonna get a pair of them 
I know that for sure. And also definitely the processor needs upgrading. It's a, it's a good processor, but it's one thing I do want to basically upgrade. Uh, worth noting the fan. This is the fan that saves my life when it gets very hot in this room. This has been on for several videos and it's quite quiet so you don't actually hear it. Um, so yeah, there you go. There is my setup. Again, I'll just pan out. That is the view that I have. Uh, probably the audio went a bit quiet then. But anyway, we're going to go on now to the drawers. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is pretty simple, actually, and you'll see in a minute. Okay, welcome to the left drawer under my bed. Now, the first thing I want to say, and I don't mean this in any bad way, please nobody ask in the comment section, can I have one of these things? These are spares mainly, and I've used all of these in the past, and I use them for different things. And sometimes you'll notice in videos that I'm using one headset in one video, and then I change. It's because breaks happen when you use equipment as much as I do you need spares so if we work from left to right again this is where the video might go a bit messy because you know it's hard to position everything uh, but I'm gonna go on my knees just to make this easier so on the left Razer Kraken headset this was a okay headset it was advertised as very comfortable this is the least comfortable headset I've ever had in my life I literally can only wear this for about half an hour and then I literally die. Uh, I mainly use this for my PlayStation 4 as it is USB and it's a lot easier to connect to USB. It's very shiny, um, but there you go. You can see me in the reflection, hey ho. Uh, but there is the Razer Kraken 7.1. Would I recommend it? No, honestly. Uh, next one, <laughs> I'll have fun with this one. A Astro A40. So Astros are known as a very big high up brand, up market. Each headset's 100 odd, 150 odd quid. And you'll notice I don't use it, it's in a drawer. Reason for it is it's not a very good headset. <laughs> and that's probably going to cause a lot of controversy. Um, but yeah, it's not very good. The wires tangled, they broke on me twice. And the microphone, which I don't actually know, I think it's actually in a drawer over there, is the worst headset microphone I've actually ever had. And they're not very comfortable. The one thing that this is going for it, it looks really good. That is pretty much it with Astro headsets. Would I recommend it? No. Moving on, next one is simply just a box of the headset that I'm using. So there you go, that is the one I'm using, a Logitech G430. Uh, again, I'm probably going to get a new headset. Will I keep this one? Probably. I probably won't return it. I'll probably just keep it as a spare. Uh, but there you go. Would I recommend it? Yeah, if you're on a budget. For a 50 quid headset, it's not bad. Just be careful with the, uh, the cables because they do tend to twist a little bit. Next thing, randomly, we're going to go pretty much through everything in these drawers. A tender 150 megabyte wireless adapter. I have to say this is actually pretty good. I used this on my old computer when I didn't have power line adapters. I will explain about them after as well. But this is actually pretty good. So randomly, there you go. Uh, next thing, this is going to be controversial. I am actually wearing it right now. Probably people will notice. Uh, the Apple Watch. So the box is in here. You'll notice I just keep boxes in here as well. Uh, but uh, there you go. The watch is on right now. I'm tempted to do a mini video on this watch. I'm not really sure. It's not my type of channel, but would I recommend it? Yes, I'm a big fan of this watch. I'm an Apple fan in general, as you can kind of notice. I do have a MacBook as well. Anyway, next thing is the uh, the microphone box, the Audio Te Audio Technica AT2020. Would I recommend this microphone? Big yes. For a starter YouTuber, it's not very expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than maybe the Blue Yeti or the Blue Snowball, or around that price. Would I recommend it? Yes, I've been doing it now for two years, and this is the microphone that I've used for both two years. Uh, the mouse mat, the uh, Razer Goli or Gl Gladius, something like that. Would I recommend this? Yes, I got the Speed Edition, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, but yeah, for a mouse mat, it's a mouse mat, what else? I would recommend it though. Next one, final box for this drawer is the MacBook Pro, which is upside down. There you go. This is the one I used. The reason I have this is for university. I got, a lot of people will say, why didn't I get a gaming laptop? Because I didn't want to have a laptop that I could game on uh, for a university, uh, basically. It's basically to only let me do work on it and it works pretty well. Anyway, let's move on to the next drawer. And I think there's actually more equipment in there that is not just boxes. Okay, welcome to the next drawer. So yeah, this drawer is a little bit more full. It does obviously have still some boxes that I do use the equipment. Like, first thing, let's just bring up the bigger box. Uh, this is the keyboard, so you can get the full title of it, I guess. So the G910 Orion Spark, again, I recommend this keyboard. It's a really good keyboard. 
Uh, moving on, so we have an iPad mini smart cover. I don't know why that's there. Gunner glasses case. Would I recommend Gunners? I did do a separate video on Gunners, and yes, I do recommend them. Two little boxes for these little things. I'm not going to review them because that's pointless. Uh, iPad mini. Uh, do I recommend iPad mini? Yes, it's pretty good for what it does. It's really nice just in bed if you know you're just browsing stuff and you can watch uh, Twitch streams on it, I guess. Yeah, I'd recommend it. Uh, right, big thing that I don't use, a different keyboard. So this is a Razer Black Widow. A lot of people love Razer products. I do like Razer products. Would I recommend this keyboard? Yes, if you do not live with other people, basically. It's the loudest keyboard I have ever known in my life. And um, yeah, it was the main reason that I actually got the Orion Spark is because this was way too loud. Very well made though, it never went wrong on me. Very nice keyboard, well made. Very heavy for a keyboard like the Orion Spark because it is mechanical. And yeah, I, I would recommend it, but only if you don't live with other people. Because even if you don't do YouTube and that, late, you know, 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night when people are trying to sleep, that will keep people up. Next one, spare mouse. Razer Naga. Again, this is the, is this the Molten Edition? No, I used to have the Molten Edition. So this mouse is the mouse that I tend to use if I'm playing a MMO like World of Warcraft. Very good. It has a million buttons on the side of it. That's why it's good for MMOs. And would I recommend it? Yes. A lot of people tend to go, like, have bad reviews of Razer products. Again, I don't. Not one Razer product has ever gone wrong with me. Only the Kraken is a bad product for me because it's very uncomfortable. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Again, this is the mouse that I use. So the G502. Uh, again, I would recommend this mouse. Very good. And then let's move on to other things. So my controller that I tend to use, there's an upcoming series on the channel soon. Uh, which is King's Quest, and I actually use this controller to play it. And yeah, I'd recommend it. Very good. Very good controller. Uh, another keyboard. So another gaming keyboard. Now this was a keyboard when I was a lot less serious about gear. This was one of the first gaming keyboards I actually got. It's a lot cheaper than the other ones. Um, but yeah, I'd actually recommend this. If you're a starter into the gaming industry, in you know computer gaming, this is actually a very good keyboard, and you can't go wrong with it. It's not mechanical. Um, but it's very good. It has lighting, it has different profiles, so you can set up different macros. And that is the Logitech Gaming G110. Now you actually can see it. Again, I said this video quality might not be the best. Uh, now we have, I think, a couple more things. Yeah, two more things. One of the things is just a box, and then one is actually something else. So obviously, here is the uh, Nintendo DS box. Again, I would recommend it. It's a DS. They're really good fun. Then last thing to show you is the last headset, which, which I do not use. It's actually a Corsair product, which obviously Dignitas is sponsored by Corsair, and I do own some Corsair stuff, but uh, it's wireless. That is the main reason I don't use it, is that I wanted to try a wireless product. This is, I don't know, over a £100 headset. It's good, it's comfortable, but it's wireless, and wireless for me just doesn't work very well. You know, I don't want to be in a game and then have a beep that needs to be charged, or risk basically running out of charge at any moment, so... Not for me, but it is very good. It's nice to have spare, though. You know, as I said, things can break. But that's pretty much it. That is both drawers done and a quickie mini review for everything. So I will I'll wrap up this video in one minute. So there you go. There is all my setup, all the gear that I own, and a quickie mini review for everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the gear that I use, feel free to put it in the comment section below. In the description of this video, I will name everything that you see in this video. So if you're like, I didn't quite catch what that was, then it will be down there and you can just Google it or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, thank you very much for watching. This is a bit of a different video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like it if you did like it, because then I know if I can do these type of videos more. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and share with a friend if you've got any friends. See ya.